What's up, YouTube? For today's video, this is going to be your guide on how to use Bax Calibre and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, let me know in the comment section below. And if there's a moveset maybe you haven't seen here or one you liked or one that's working well for you, let me know about it too. And let's have a look at Bax Calibre. So Bax Calibre is a really, really nice physical sweeper and it gets the move dressed. Dragon Dance. So this is a set you're probably going to be seeing the most used online and one that works well mostly across the board. So with this setup here, I've given it max speed and max attack EVs and Jolly Nature. This allows it to get its maximum speed here before using Dragon Dance and allows you to outspeed really, really fast Pokemon after just using it once. So the move set I've given it, of course, we've got Dragon Dance. It's new move, Glaive Rush. Now this move is a uh, really, really good because in my opinion it doesn't have much of a drawback really the only drawback is if you fail to take the user out right so say you use on a pokemon and they live they're going to deal two times damage to you the next turn and their move is never going to miss but that's not going to be a problem if you one shot them right and if you keep one shotting so that's something to think about there too and it's got a lot of attacks so it's going to be one shotting a lot of things here the other move i've given it is icicle sphere now i've given it icicle sphere because i've given it the item loaded dice and uh, if you don't know what loaded dice does this makes multi-hitting moves that hit two to five times always hit four times minimum so you'll be getting four hits and with Icicle Sphere being 25 base power, that's 100 base power straight away there. Individual hits. So, you know, one of the hits could even crit too. You know, bypasses, can bypass Subchu, can bypass Sturdy, uh, stuff like that. So very, very good. And it can also hit five times too. So, you know, a very, very powerful move um, in comparison to some of its other physical moves like Ice Punch and Icicle Crash, which... Are not going to hit as hard and uh, shaky in accuracy. So I definitely, if you're going to run uh, Ice or Sea, Loaded Dice is definitely the item to go for there. And just for coverage reasons, I've given it Earthquake here too. So there, that's probably the best moves it's going to have for a Dragon Dancing Loaded Dice set. Uh, the ability I've given it is Thermal Exchange. What Thermal Exchange does, if this uh, Pokemon gets hit by a fire move, it gets an attack boost by one. And it also can't be burned too, which is really nice on a physical attacker. So... That would sort of be the set that I would suggest that works the best all around and is the strongest set. Now, as for the Terra, I'd probably give it either... Oh, given this one Fairy, because I think Fairy is pretty smart, because... What is it weak to? Okay, it's weak to fighting moves, right? It's weak to Dragon-type moves. If you go into a fairy type, then you're going to be able to resist those main two sort of moves there. Um, I know you've got a sort of a this steel as well, but I feel like you can deal with steel with earthquake. So that's a really nice type to go into terra uh, terra fairy. Now you could go terra terra dragon as well. That could also work to even power up glide rush even further if you just want to absolutely decimate stuff and you're not too worried about your typing. But you know if the opponent's got some pretty bulky Pokemon or you find yourself it's difficult to get a dragon dance up and you might need one turn on a uh, you know a super effective matchup say you're versing you know a uh, uh, fighting type and stuff like that um, that's another good option to go for there um, so I'd suggest fairy or dragon for those you could go for a meme ground as well or ice but I, I don't know I feel like dragon or fairy would be really really good for Terra uh, comparatively speaking there now as for items on this let me just have a look here so loaded dice obviously is really good for icicles here but say for example let, let, let's just have a look at some uh, other options here if you want to know them it does get icicle crash now icicle crash is 85 base power right let me just bring it up so 85 base power 90 percent actually did even I don't know, like, I, I, just, I don't see it as good because it doesn't even have 100% actually. It does have a chance to flinch, but it's not very powerful. So uh, compared to, uh, you know, four hits or 100 base power, and never missing. But it does lock you down into giving you loaded dice. That's the only drawback of it, but I, I think it's worth it. Uh, but if you don't want to run that, you could always run Icy or Crash if you really wanted to. Um, it does lack a little bit of base power compared to four hits, and it's a little bit shaky, actually. So that's why I picked it there, and I believe that is definitely the superior option picking um, Icicle Sphere over any of those uh, other Ice-type moves. you got Ice Punch, uh, no, an Ice Fang, sorry. 
uh, that's kind of weak compared to all of them too. So yeah, that would be the option that I would go for for a physical dragon and set. This is not going to let you down. You're probably going to get a sweep really, really easy with this at the right time. Just time it right and you, you'll get it, you know. All right, next one I want to have a look at here is uh, our ice body variant. So with this set here, let me just... um. Speed AVs, no, I didn't have that. So, this is like a bulky sort of set here, but it's also a dragon dancing set. So, I've done something a little bit different. So, we've got Snowscape here, right? So, Snowscape is the new, basically the new hail. So, the great thing about this, it makes it bulky because uh, it's an ice start, right? By 1.5 defense. So, this is going to allow you to get, um, you know, easily get a dragon that's up there. And with ice body and leftovers, you can get like lots of recovery, you know? So it's nice. You like, by the time you're sweeping through the opponents, you could probably get, you know, a lot of the damage that was done to you when you dragon dance, right? Now, for that reason, I've run Ice Will Crash on here. Um, that's going to be probably a little bit more reliable than relying on like, you know, four hits from uh, Ice Will Super. But if you still want to run Ice Will Super, you could as well. I've got Glide of Rush. I mean, most physical sets are always going to run Glide of Rush because it's, it's such a good move, you know. Just that attractive 120 base power, you know. You can't really turn away from that. So, uh, same EVs as before, except I've given it Adam and Nature, so a little bit more base power. You could go Jolly as well. That, that, that It doesn't really matter. Adam or Jolly is up to what you want to use and you know, what Pokemon are going to be on your team there. I just think it's interesting with Ice Body and uh, Snowscape. It also makes uh, a good Pokemon that can set up the Snowscape too, because it's got it's got a lot of bulk in health, you know, and you know, defenses, special defense stats are very reasonable, so... If you want to set up Pokemon 2, that could absolutely work. Now, another one to have a look at here, I thought you could run an Assault Vest set. And you could run it kind of slow, too. Now, we're talking about Ice-type moves and power and stuff like that. Um, Avalanche isn't to be overlooked here because that is actually 120 base power um, if it does indeed go second, which, you know, it, it's mostly going to. So, 120 base power is very, very good. You know, that's uh, that's probably, that's like the most powerful uh, move outside of like a five Icicle Spheres, which is not always going to happen. So, very, very powerful move there. So, I've given this one Avalanche, Ice Shard for priority, Glaive Rush, and Iron Head. Now, you could give that Earthquake too. I've given it Iron Head just for coverage on uh, other like, fairy types and things like that. And, um, I've also got the Terra as Fairy. This time, the EV spread, I've made it like very, very bulky. So I've got Max Self and I've got Max Attack out of nature. So, you know, for argument's sake, um, you could give this speed as well. Like, this could easily work like that. You know what I mean? Like, and you could give it Jolly Nature and things like that. Um, actually, I'd give it Adamant because you've got Ice Shards. So you don't really need to worry 100% about going first. But, yeah, you could easily run Assault Vest as well on that uh, other sets. But, obviously, they're not going to be Dragon Ants variants. They're just going to have four attacking moves. Now, this works very well, and it's quite bulky too. It will take a good hit, so you can hit very, very hard with Avalanche and say... Let's say you do 90% of the health, right, with Avalanche. Well, you can just pick them off with the last Ice Shard, you know. And, you know, um, you've got Glaive Rush and Iron Head too. The cool thing about Glaive Rush is you can use it, and then you can follow it up with Ice Shard. And generally, that's going to take most neutral damage Pokemon out in one, sh you know, two shots, you know. And, uh, yeah, I, I think it's got some good potential there as an Assault Vest. And if you run this under in the Snowscape too... My goodness, this is going to be really bulky because remember with Snowscape, right? You get that 1.5 defense rise and then it's almost like having an Assault Vest and it's like having an Assault Vest but on the defensive side and on the special defensive side. So that would be mega tanky. So if you ran that with a sweeping set, that would be really, really nice. And you could have Ice Body as well. So that'd be like a really cool variation there if you wanted to uh, run it on like a snow skate. You could run it with uh, a Bomber Snow and you, you, know, you could leave with a Bomber Snow and stuff like that. Get your Icy Rock going and all those sort of things. So that could definitely work really, really nicely there uh, in that aspect. Now, as to doubles, um, it, it, it sort of plays, it, in my opinion, it plays a little bit similar to uh, singles. I've given it slightly different EVs here than I normally probably would for singles, but I will say this too, the singles EVs on the D-Dance set could easily work for this as well. It's sort of about like, um, like you know, if you want to take a certain hit and things like that and have a little bit of extra bulk to the set. So I've given this a little bit of extra bulk for a sweeper, but it's still basically the same sort of thing. So I've given it the item as Life Orb um, just to make up a little bit for that uh, EVs in attack. Having to get it like the full amount of attack, I've just given it a bit more bulk so it can tank some sort of attacking moves a little bit better uh, you know, as it gets its dragonets up. We've got Protect on there. I've got Iron 
Pinhead and Glaive Rush. Now, I haven't given it an ice type move. You could, but um, I've given this like I've given this Iron Head just for like more coverage reasons, so I can hit like fairy types and stuff. And I've given it Terra Steel as well, so. It's a little bit more of a gimmicky style set, but I still think it will work well in doubles. Once again, you can use a D-Dance set in doubles. That'll work, like, fine, you know. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that one at all. This is just a little bit more bold to it. Uh, we still got max speed, and, you know, it's, a, it's still a dragon dancing set. So you could get some flinches with Iron Head, and you could hit with Glide of Rush. So maybe you hit with Glide of Rush and then go for Iron Head and flinch. So then the next turn, say if you do get a flinch, well, you won't have that awful you know, a chance of uh, getting hit by two times damage, you know. So, yeah, just a little bit of an interesting sort of set there for doubles. A little bit of a play on the Dragon Dance set from singles. It, it, it virtually plays the same way, you know. And uh, you could you, once again, you could run a Bomber Snow uh, with alongside this two to give it even more bulk. So, just something to think about there. Now... Mostly, I, I, we've looked at all the uh, physical sets here, but its special attack isn't... I mean, it, it, it's not that bad. I mean, it's not that good, but it's not that bad. Either. So we're going to have a look at a special set now. Now, of course, you could run a Bomber Snow alongside this. You don't need to set the Snowscape up. But for the, you know, for the convenience of this video, I'm going to be setting this up myself with Snowscape and Icy Rock as the item. So it gets our uh, Blizzard, which is a great move there. That's going to be doing, uh, you know, lots of base power there, 110. It's going to be 100% accurate, which is nice. I've given it Drake, uh, Dragon Pulse there. You can give it Drake or Meter if you want, but the problem is it's going to do donkeys after you use it once. So I'd go for uh, Dragon Pulse, and I've given it Terrifier. Now, Terrifier isn't actually all that bad as sort of like a sneaky terror type to give it to because you can resist a, a fair few of its weaknesses with that but i've given it terror blast terror fire so that way i've got like a, a fire type move as a bit of surprise there too and its special set is very very limited too uh the ability i've given this of course is ice body too so i can heal up a little bit you know i use snowscape and i can heal and stuff like that too and uh the ev spread i've given is max uh speed and max special attack modest nature you really do need to give it modest nature because with Base 75 in special attack. I mean, you'd have to be pretty desperate to use this as a special attacker, but, you know, for the people that do like to run sort of fun movesets, not the you know, real standard stuff uh, like myself, you could give it uh, modest. So that will give it uh, a lot more damage output for sure. Like, if you look at this right, say I gave it Timid, that's woeful, you know? Like, that's a, that's a big, that's a mega, mega drop there. And it, I don't think its speed matters all that much, like, uh, to be honest there, especially because you're not running a Dragon Dance set, so... In that sort of speed category, I don't think you're missing out on too much, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, there's a, uh, a special set there for Bat Scalloper. Now, something that uh, can't be overlooked here is its amount of bulk that it has, right? So this would work very, very well as a special. I'm, I'm running this as a special defensive phaser. So if you've got any stealth rock Pokemon, etc., like that, this could work not too bad. Um, you could also run this in the snow as well, so you could make it even bulkier. Um, you know, and with Ice Body too, that's another option, so you could have that going. Uh, so this is a dr this is a Dragon Tail phasing set, and we've got Rest and Sleep Talk here to, uh, you know, obviously heal it up, and then attack while it is sleeping, hopefully. And just for coverage reasons, say if a Fairy comes in, well, at least you've got Avalanche, and you've got that, you don't have that negative priority on uh, Avalanche. I know it's not as good, but, um, you know, say for example, you had to use it outside of Rest and Sleep Talk, it would still be double too, so you still make use of that. Or you could just adjust it to, Icicle Sphere or whatever the heck you wanted, really. So, yeah, so you've got, like, a, a bulky special defensive uh, uh, wall here. It's got it's got good... Uh, it's got really, really nice health and good defenses there. So I can definitely see this one working. And Rocky Helmet as the item there, just for a little bit of extra, like, chip damage and stuff like that. So I know Ice Pokemon don't really make the greatest, uh, you know... Uh, defensive or special defensive walls in the game, but they're still all right, you know? It's still not too bad if you can, uh, especially if you can phase out with uh, Dragon Talon and stuff. I can see that as, uh, you know, kind of working there. But yes, there's a uh, a, back, a bulky Baxcalibur. Now, as for, um, as for teammates, I would absolutely... I mean, you'd have to recommend... You'd have to, you know, recommend a Bomber Snow here, right? You absolutely would have to uh, recommend that. And uh, as as a partner, even as like a partner Pokemon, you can use this as bait, right? So this is like a perfect partner because this is four times weak to fire, right? People are going to want to use a fire type move again, right? All you got to do then is swap it into um, Baxcalibur, right? So then that gives you a instant plus one on attack, right? And then like... 
you could D dance again. So you could have like a plus one uh, in attack on top of that, and then you could have like a plus one in speed too. So what a great part of this Pokemon is, and it sets the snow up too. So if you've got I don't know, even Ice Body will work with it too. So and even if it, even if you don't have Ice Body, you've got Thermal Exchange. Well, you've you've got like a um a, a 1.5 uh, defensive boost there. So you know that's that's really really nice. So I recommend uh, a bomber. So or it's just an ice type, uh, ice type or snow sort of team would work really really good for this Pokemon. You know, um, another po any sort of Pokemon that have a fire weakness, you could bait in with just like the simple you know Dragon Dance set. That would work like really really nicely. Like just so good. You know, um, as for counters, well you can see it's counters is weak to very very weak to Fairy. Um, you know, fighting. Uh, you steal those sort of things there. Um, as for Fairy, that Fairy is probably the best counter because it doesn't really have anything to hit Fairy for super effective outside of like Iron Head. You know what I mean? Like that's about the only way you can hit Fairy for super effective. It can't use its strongest move, Glive Rush, and you'll have to you know, rely on something like Ice Fuel Sphere. So the Fairy type Pokemon could change its type with Terra or you know simply live that but uh still quite a uh quite a strong pokemon in my opinion it is weak to stealth rocks too um another item people can uh, i've seen is a good item to run on it too um if you don't want to run loaded dice is heavy duty boots that's another good item because you know, obviously because of its ice weakness there and you know sticky web and any sort of entry hazards that would be uh harmful to it you know, getting its sweep going that would be another good item suggestion there uh just for a sweeping set of course but yes, um, a bomber so really good partner. Um, just trying to think of something else. That's probably, in my opinion, that's probably like one of the best like uh, partners to uh, you know have with it because it can just bait out those fire type moves and make it bulky. You know, so very very good uh, Pokemon there. We'll bring up some more a uh, couple more move sets. I just want to sort of like go over absolutely everything with this Pokemon. Let's bring it up here. So. It does have Dragon Claw too. Really, there's no reason to ever run Dragon Claw when you've got, uh, you know, Glive Rush. It's just such a good move. Um, sorry, Gly yeah, Glive Rush is a really, really good move there. So there's really never a reason to yeah, run like uh, Dragon Claw and those sort of things. But uh, yeah, um, it it's going to be one showing a lot with that move. Uh, it's got a couple other like weaker physical ice moves. We've already gone over that. Uh, it does have Zen Headbutt too if you want to use this for fighting types for... I feel like you're still going to be hitting them very, very hard with uh, you know, Glaive Rush and uh, you have an Ice type move there. So that's more of like a, a, a filler move, if you know what I mean. So you don't wouldn't have to have that. Um, just, let me just bring up its status moves here. So yeah, um, another variant you could run. So it does get. Let me put that up the top there. So it does get our uh, Sword Dance, which uh, I think it's going to be overlooked because of. Um, because of Dragon Dance, it's mostly sort of overlooked it. But obviously, you could still go like, oh, I'll go, you know, Jolly Nature, Max Attack, Sword Dance. This seems like a really, really good idea and stuff like that. And it is. But the problem is at speed. Like, it's, it's going to get out speed eventually. And when it does, like, say if you do have, you know... Oh, I'm going to go Sword Dance and Glaive Rush. Well, the problem is, like, you're going to get out speed and then absolutely, like, wrecked. Um, after using this move. So that's the main thing. That's why Dragon Dance outclasses Sword Dance uh, in this aspect. I mean, it does give you a ginormous boost in your attack, which is great. But um, it, the, the speed part is really an issue there. And there's not really a way for it to... I mean, you could do some, like, gimmick like this. Um, you could go, like, a, like some sort of, like, a... This sort of gimmick could work, too. So you got, like, a, a sub... A sub Sword Dance set. That could work, you know, um, and obviously you'd need a coverage move here. Look, you might have to, it's either, it's either, either would be Crash or Sphere here. I still Crash or I still Sphere. Um, so you've got this, you've got this at 85 base power and you've got this at like 75 if it hits three times. So yeah, I, I, I'd probably, I, I'd probably opt for, I, I'd probably go for Crash there if, if that was me. Um, but you can go either one of them. This could work there. So it's like the Salic Berry is sort of like your Dragon Dance, at, like a speed boost from there. And then you could Sword Dance up or you could Sub, then Sword Dance. One of those sort of things. But this is more of a like a gimmicky set there. Whereas Dragon Dance is like immediate boost in speed and attack. And you know, you're well on your way to getting a sweep with it. you got to get that Sub up. Oh, but make sure I get that Sub up so I can leave the, uh, you know, the attack there. Get my Sword Dance up and then I'll, you know, I'll keep subbing down to get my Salad Berry. Oh, whoops, I'm on a low amount of health there. I'm going to faint to a priority move. That's sort of like the weakness 
uh, for that was this one's like one dragon dance and sweep. So, but still, you know, sword dance is always a you know incredibly good move there. But it's, it's a little bit more of a gimmick to get this one to work. I'm not saying it wouldn't work, but it'd just be harder to get that uh, you know to set up there. Um, sort of yeah, a little bit of a interesting take there on uh, sword dance. But uh, you mostly dragon dance you know, our class of sword dance every single time because of that speed boost there. Unless the Pokemon's got like a ginormous amount of speed already and it doesn't even matter. Okay, so we got a, uh, ooh, we got focus energy here. I don't know how many sorts of um, moves it's got here, but uh, you could run a focus energy critting set too. Let's see if we got any critting moves here, like straight up crit moves. I don't think it's got uh, any at all. Uh, oh, it does have... Uh, Dragon Rush is another option there, but like, there's so many better options than that, so I don't see that you know, ever being needed to be run, unless you wanted, like, a Troll Flinching set. That that could work. Matter of fact, let's do a Troll Flinching set. So we've got our uh, Dragon Rush here. That's not bad. Uh, we've got... Uh, we have to give it Iron Head, because that's great for, like, um, Fairy and stuff like that. Do we have any Ice-type moves? Okay, we don't really have any Ice-type moves. That's fine. We can, we can make something up. I do have... I've got Bite here. We could go for... We could go for bite. Yeah, let's let's do bite. All right, so we got. Uh, it doesn't have to be a focused energy set either. I mean, we could we could go crits. Dragon rush is a little bit like. Actually, I'm gonna get like since dragon rush is probably its strongest move. We'll give it wide lens. So you know, wide lens gives it a 10% uh, boost there. So we got 10% on our set. Was that like 70? Yeah. So you know, early 80s, right? Sort of accuracy. So nothing really super duper amazing. So with um with flinching sets, the most important element with a flinching set is going first. So we could even you you could just go D dance on this one. Let's go D dance. So we want that speed boost. So we've got uh one D dance, and then we could go Dragon Rush, Iron Head, and Bite. So just a complete flin <laughs> complete flinching set. This could still definitely work too. The problem is if you miss Dragon Rush, uh, then you're gonna get like spanked. But I don't know. It, it, I think it still has some. Uh, some pretty good aspects there. Bite's a little bit shaky, though. I feel like we could add something else to that. Um, I don't think there's any other sort of, like, flinching moves. I'm, I'm trying to make a specifically, like, flinching set. Oh, we got Zen Headbutt. Let's go Zen Headbutt. That's much better for, like, coverage reasons. There you go. So, there is a nice... Actually, Wide Lens works well with that, too. So, you know, that's giving... Uh, that's 99% accuracy. So, that's really, really good there. So... That's already 100, and, you know, that's that's these. So there you go. you got a Dragon Dance flinching set. Give that one a go. I reckon you cause a fair bit of salt with that. So you got that um, you got that going really, really nicely. Anyway, people, that's pretty much it for Batscalibur. Batscalibur, um, to summarize everything there, is a beautiful Dragon Dance sweeper. It's got a very spammable, powerful move there as Glaive Rush. As long as you use it in the right situation that you know you're going to faint the opponent, you shouldn't have any problems using it at all. It's got a nice spammable move here if you are are using loaded dice there um, very very good and you know it's got like coverage moves like iron hit earthquake for everything else that uh, you know that's main to stab moves can't hit and you've got powerful terror type options here to go into fairy dragon stuff like that and yeah that's pretty much it hope you enjoy this one people I'm gonna continue doing all the rest of the gen 9 Pokemon I should I probably do like one of day uh, this month so we should have most of them done uh, by the end of the month all right people peace out